Right, so I'm going to do some mailbag video. Two packages here. I don't actually know what's in these. I guess I'll find out shortly. So this could be interesting. This one's got lots of wrapping around it. So I've got to figure out my way into the thing. I'm trying to feel where the joins are. So there's one there. Okay, let's just cut the end. this ah okay now I know what this is filament OBS filament uh, green what else is in here it should be a bunch of those not easy to get into are they right. Stuck boxes together. Huh. Uh, there's another joint there. There we go. Ouch. That hurt. Hmm. What the hell's that? It's weird. Okay. Hmm. Weird. Right. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, stuff boxes together. Okay. So this is probably another filament in here. And there's another box here, which I also need to try and get into. Well. Oh, let's say packs them well. Okay, what we got in here? So let's do more filament. So this is black ABS. And blue ABS. Now I wanted the green and blue because those I think I'm pretty sure unless I've remembered this wrong. They match the um, the uh, colours of the of, oh look, my thumb's bleeding. Bloody hell! Um, they match the colours of the uh, levers which are broken on the HP four two six one A. If I remember that correctly, I might have got the wrong colours. Um, I was actually looking at it yesterday. I should have had a look. But anyway, I've got some couple colours there, so hopefully this, this means I can print a lever of the right colour to match the originals and replace them. Those. What's in this box? Oh, it was under, under my thumb. It bloody hurt anyway. No. Oh. Maybe the staple as well. Feels like something's still in there. Look at that. I thought the opening mail would be hazardous. Hazardous. And so. Okay. What did I win? <laughs> um. Alright, this looks like a auction score. Bring those. Jimmy Con. Jimmy Con. That's a. Uh, Jimmy Co, isn't it? US? Anyway. So this is an auction score. I obviously won this. Nine Dean completely forgot about it. It's in a Hitano, never heard of them. Um, some more service mount ones here. Oh, so, this is obviously an auction one on. And also, here's for a whole bunch of caps of various types and sizes. So, we've got here various ones in there STE. I'm not sure. So, K1365. Um, a whole bunch of parts in here, are they? RF9610. Uh, a couple of 
of resistors, of inductors, more inductors, hmm, some big resistors. Oh, wow, that's an old cat. Um, 4.7 UF, 400 volt. Hmm, could be handy though. Um, what's in here? <laughs> some tiny caps, the looks of it. They could be resistors, I don't know. Um, more resistors, more caps. Another cap. All bits, all sorts of bits in here, look. It's just like. All sorts of stuff. Got some transistors in there too, looks of it. I'll look at that. Box in a second. Some transistors. 2N7, uh, 3773. A couple of those. Um, some more big caps. 1 UF. 275 volt X2. This could have been handy actually when I was doing my project. I wouldn't have to box on it. Anyway, um, we've got some fuses. More fuses. Um, I think these are capacitors. I'm guessing they're caps. Is it TB? No idea. I'm guessing they're caps. They look like caps. Um, I'm pretty sure these are fuses though. 125 milliamp, 250 volt. So this is a nice little uh, polyfuse thing. They're self resetting. Same as these, but these ones. 400 milliamps, that's more like it. Um, it just keeps on going. Look at this lot in here, what's all this? Rollers. Tape deck rollers, by the looks of it. Oh, I might find, might find use of those. There's a couple of solder tag fuses there, lead, lead fuses. Those always come in handy. There's just so much stuff in here. Here we go. Ceramics. 55. 5.5 uh, MB. Really? 5.5 megabyte? Hmm. Um, small inductors, small capacitors there, another capacitor there, we're in a straight one. Jemicon, yeah. Whole bunch of fuses. Um, these sorts of things that come in handy often. I will have to try and figure out what these values are. I can't quite read them in the bag. Uh, a whole bunch more camps. It's just a bit of a bananza, isn't it? I'm looking for the invoice actually, see if I can find out what I pay for this. Because I really don't remember. This is weeks ago I did this. I must have only just sold the ship it. Um, all those big caps there. What's this? 2 UF. 450 volt. I need another one of them. One of those would be great. Can you see those? Yeah, so there's quite a lot of stuff in here. Wow. Okay, so what's in here? Capstan motor assembly. Well, I wouldn't have bought it for those. That's obviously just part of the set that I got. Oh, I don't know. Does anyone need this? You don't need a capstan motor? Yeah. It's not something I'd ever use. Give an interesting prospect, isn't it, really? Panaso? I guess it's Panasonic then. Oh, there we go. Wrapped around. Panasonic. VXP1113. So if anyone needs one of them, um, let me know. You can bloody have it. Oh, it's no good to me. Um, just like all these pinch rollers and stuff that's in here. You know, all these rollers. Yeah, probably going everywhere because the bag's not shut. But, I mean, all these rollers in here. You want those? Let me know. I'll, I'll give you some. That's fine. Um, one point five amp protector. It's in the bag. Can't see. Can't see anything in the bag. Anyway, 
So, yeah. If anyone needs pin shoulders or low caps to the motor, let me know. Um, I don't mind sending that on because I've got no useful. Okay, that's the motor. A bunch more goodies. I know what's in here. I don't know what's in here. Let's see what's this. Okay. Who are they? Ref something. There's a voltage references. Ref 200U. Okay, so these are voltage reference ICs. Tiny little things. I thought it might be handy or something, so I've got some. That's about it. Okay, so let's look at the next thing. Alright, so let's open this up. It is my new 3D printer. Excellent. 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 Right. Um, I need to get myself organised here. So, what have we got here? Hotbed. Tools. Scraper thing comes with it as well. Simply tools. Brackets and stuff like that. Nozzle control thing there. Looks like a little bit of filament to get started. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. Um, some metal rails. A plug with the wrong plug. I've obviously got that wrong. I right, matter these are throw away, it's a bit of a waste though. I keep chucking these out into the recycling, but it's a shame because you know somewhere in, in the world someone wants these plugs. Chuck it out. Let's move this that way. Alright, there's obviously the feed assembly and the, the traversal assemblies. Let me, let me switch there. QR code, okay. Um, so it's also the feed for the filament goes through there. Spring loaded um, gripper, okay. So where's it go through there? It must pass through to this piece. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Some more bits and a um, pretty rail. Some partial frame there. Some it's already put together, I believe. So it's not complete assembly. There's a head there with the nozzle. So the bed which is already put together. Step motor. And obviously prepared or ready to go onto a frame. What's in here? I'll get some here too, it's just the bracket part. Okay, I'm not sure how that's what. I guess I'll find out. And let's try that frame there, that frame there. I'd like to pull this piece here yeah, next, I think. Okay. 
controller. I'm surprised it's got an open back on it. But, okay. Lots the display. Just like Hitachi chips be under there. Or Hitachi equivalent chips. So I think that's all these smaller bits out. Let's try and get the whole thing out there. So just trying to slide off the platform. Let's put this sun out for a second. Power supply. Interesting arrangement. Very interesting arrangement. Okay, so it's got a. What it's called again? XT60. There we go. XT60 connectors. Interesting setup. 230 volts, cool. This is set to the right voltage. LED power supply apparently, so it's using 24 volt, 15 amp max. Cool. So if this ever fails, it's easy enough to replace it because it's a standard bloody 24 volt power supply. That's nice and easy. Let's have a look in there. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Novel. Novel idea of way to do it. Not sure I like about being only secured in one end though. Anyway. Sure it's fine. So I think that's everything out of the box. Don't see anything else tucked in here. Making sure. Yep, that's everything out. So let's reposition things.